Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hey, uh, first video of the day. Let's get started. Half-timbered houses, narrow alleyways, Middle Ages in Germany. Historic city gates. Sure. Church towers. Historic city gates, church towers, and half-timbered houses. Germany has many towns with well-preserved medieval architecture, much of it on the UNESCO World Heritage List. These medieval town centers are uniquely beautiful, each telling a story of their own. Stay tuned to find out where to find them and join us on this journey back in time. We begin in Trier, a city in Germany's southwest, on the banks of the Mosul River. It was founded 2,000 years ago by the Romans, who built the Porta Nigra, Latin for Black Gate, among other things. Today, Porta Nigra is one of the city's best-known sites. Is there, is there usually a guy up there just in Roman uh, outfit? Things. Today, it's pretty cool if, it's, if Porta so. Porta Nigra is one of the city's best-known sites. After the end of the Roman Empire, Trier evolved into a medieval city. Trier Cathedral, for instance, was built in the location of a former Roman residence. Consecrated around 300 AD, it is considered one of Germany's oldest churches. This mix of Roman and medieval heritage makes Trier well worth visiting. Next up, Charles the Great, who ordered the construction of countless stunning edifices in Aachen. The most impressive is Aachen Cathedral, completed around 800 AD, an absolute must-see. What? Completed around 800 AD. You're kidding. An absolute must-see. Charlemagne time? Inside, you can admire Charles the Great's golden tomb and his throne, where German kings were crowned for hundreds of years. Is Charles the Great Charlemagne? Making Aachen a medieval power center. Eight hundred AD that was completed. I also be sure to visit Aachen's Christmas market and sample some Aachener Printen, a type of gingerbread said to date back to the Middle Ages. The city is as famous for this festive treat as it is for its magnificent cathedral. Now we head to the town of Quedlinburg in eastern Germany with its collegiate church of St. Servatius, already visible from afar. It was founded by King Henry I in the 10th century, who also made Quedlinburg a wealthy town. This is evident from the cathedral treasures, comprised of precious gold and ivory objects. The church is surrounded by over 1,000 medieval half-timbered buildings, the largest number anywhere in Germany. It's a major tourist magnet, so its alleys can get very crowded. Moving on to Erfurt, a city that became a powerful trading center. Being located on the ancient Via Regia trade route made Erfurt a prosperous place, as visitors can tell from the richly ornate Old Town facades. When in Erfurt, don't miss out on the iconic Kremerbrücke or Merchant's Bridge. It is lined with half-timbered buildings like in medieval times, where today visitors can shop, visit galleries and cafes. We've got a culinary tip too. Treat yourself to a Brought real Thuringian this. sausage, or why not too? Oh, that looks amazing. I've been eating breakfast. 
I'm hungry. From eastern Germany, we travel north to the port city of Lübeck, another major trading town in medieval times. Holsten Tor, Lübeck. I still want to know where this style of, of front housing came from. Where did it originate? I normally think of Scandinavia or maybe just Netherlands, northern Germany, Denmark. J just this style of, of, of step front facing buildings. Another I've asked it before. I'm sorry if you've answered it. From eastern Germany, we travel north to the port city of Lübeck, another major trading town in medieval times. Westwick Holstein, Holstein northern. Lübeck's red brick city gates with the twin towers welcomes visitors to the old town. Its layout has remained unchanged. Is that near Denmark, Schleswig Holstein? Welcomes visitors to the old town. Its layout has remained unchanged since the Middle Ages, and Lübeck's churches and remarkable town hall are bound to leave an impression on visitors the city could afford to build such gorgeous buildings thanks to the lucrative maritime trade ships brought almonds and exotic spices to the city among other things key ingredients for making marzipan lubeck marzipan is very popular and you should definitely try some there's even a minute old town made from marzipan to admire from northern Germany, we head south to Bamberg. Notice something unusual about the town hall? It was built in the middle of the river. According to legend, the bishop didn't grant citizens any land for the town hall, so they took matters into their own hands, rammed stakes into the river and built it there instead. Bamberg Old Town boasts plenty of quaint Bamberg. buildings, alleys. Off the carry seal. And great pubs. With so many different kinds of beer brewed here, some regard Bamberg as Germany's beer capital. Definitely try a glass of aromatic smoked beer when visiting. Our last stop takes us to another Bavarian town that's popular like no other. Rottenburg ob der Tauber, practically unchanged since... Rottenburg ob der, ob der Tauber. That was like French, Tauber. Tauber. Rottenburg ob der Tauber. Tauber. It's the 13th Tauber. century. It offers lots and lots of well-preserved medieval architecture. What better place to experience history firsthand? Its ancient three kilometer long city wall is fully intact, encircling the old town, a rare architectural gem. And don't forget to climb the town hall tower for a grandiose view of the medieval old town below. Hey, it's a really good video. Good uh, wake up video for me. I feel ready for more videos it's for third time in what two sentence ah hope you guys are doing well i'd appreciate any comments and i'll see you next time bye guys